everyone welcome back it's time to solve another question so let's get started three girls reshma salma and mandeep are playing a game by standing on a circle of radius 5 meter drawn in a park reshma throws a ball to salma salma to mandeep mandeep to reshma if the distance between reshma and salma and between salma and mandeep is 6 meter each what is the distance between reshma and mandeep so now we need to solve this question so this is basically a application based question where we will use our knowledge of circles so let's start the solution and for that we basically need to understand that what is going on this question so here is the park in which these three girls are playing so these girls are playing on basically they are standing on a circle so this is the circle on which they are standing so here is the first girl and she is reshma here is another girl and she is salma and here is mandeep these three are playing and these are playing with a ball so this is the ball reshma is throwing ball to salma and salma is throwing again this ball to mandeep and mandeep is finally throwing this ball to reshma so these three are playing this way now it is given that the radius of this circle on which they are playing is 5 meter and the distance between reshma and salma and salma and mandeep is 6 meter each so we need to find the distance between reshma and mandi so let me draw a simple diagram so this is the circle on which they are standing and this is the center of the circle which is marked with o now r is representing the position of reshma and s is representing the position of salma same way m is representing the position of mandi now let me join these points so here we have joined and we need to find the value of rm or i can say the distance between reshma and mandi now when we draw this diagram remember to place them reshma salma and mandi correctly according to the distance because radius of the circle is 5 meter and reshma and sandi salma and salma and mandeep are 6 meter each apart so while placing them be careful you shouldn't place them too far or too near because that will create altogether different diagram and you won't be able to solve it so now let's see the solution so let's start the solution and for that join or os and om so let's do that so on joining these you can clearly see that two triangles are formed you can use any one of the triangle because both the triangles are similar and we can obtain the value of rm or the distance between reshma and mandi now you can see that os is intersecting rm at a point and this point is nothing but a now consider triangle ors so here in the triangle or is 5 meter os is 5 meter again and rs is 6 meter these distances are given to us here os can be written as sum of oa and as now let us consider oa as x meter so that means we can write as as 5 minus x meter because total os is 5 meter now rm is the chord and oa is the perpendicular dropped from the center so we can say that ra is equal to am since the perpendicular from the center bisects the chord therefore angle oar will be equal to 90 degrees since oa is the perpendicular on rm now we can say that oa square plus ra square is equal to or square in triangle oar where we have used pythagoras theorem so from this we can say that ra square is nothing but or square minus oa square or that is equal to 5 square minus x square since or is 5 meter and oa is x meter so this gives us 
r s square is equal to 25 minus x square so marking this as equation 1 now similarly consider triangle r a s so in this triangle also a s square plus r a square is equal to r s square where again we have used pythagoras theorem so this gives r a square is equal to r s square minus a s square where we have taken a s square to the other side of the equation now using the values we have r a square is equal to 6 square minus 5 minus x the whole square or r a square is 36 minus 25 plus 10x minus x square so marking this as equation 2 remember here we have opened 5 minus x the whole square by using the identity of a minus b the whole square which which says a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square so since this is minus of 5 minus x the whole square we will open the bracket so there will be a change of signs and this will be the final equation we will get now equating equations 1 and 2 we have 25 minus x square is equal to 36 minus 25 plus 10x minus x square now can you people tell me what will be our next step can you see any similar terms in this so yes we have minus x square on both the side of the equations so that means minus x square will get cancelled now we also have 25 on both the side of equations but on one side it is plus 25 and on the other side it is minus 25 and hence they will not get cancelled instead we have to solve them now this can be written as 25 is equal to 11 plus 10x where 11 is obtained by subtracting 25 from 36 now we can take this 11 to the other side so we have 10x is equal to 25 minus 11 or 10x is 14 or I can say that x is nothing but 1.4 meter where we have taken 10 to the other side so 14 by 10 is nothing but 1.4 meter now we have obtained the value of OA now can we use this value and solve for RA so yes we can do that so therefore RA square is 25 minus 1.4 the whole square so this gives us RA square as 25 minus 1.96 or RA square is 23.04 now we can say that RA is nothing but under root of 23.04 or RA is 4.8 now we know that the perpendicular OA has divided or bisected the chord RM into two equal parts that is RA and AM and to find the distance between Reshma and Mandeep we need to calculate the whole length RM which is twice of RA. So we can say that RA, RM which is RA plus RM or RM is twice of R A. So using the value we have RM as 2 into 4.8 or RM is 9.6 meter. Therefore the distance between Reshma and Mandeep is 9.6 meter. So I hope you people understood. You can solve this question using the formula of area of a triangle also and you can use this method also. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.